Hi, I'm Dr. Megan Gillette from Iowa State University, and I'm a faculty member in the GPIDA Youth Development Program. In an effort to make the course content applicable to their current or future jobs, and to also help them broaden their network, students in my classes pair themselves up with a mentor or partner from a relevant organization, in our case, a youth serving organization. It can be someone they already work with, or it could be someone who is part of their organization, but they don't really work together. It could be someone who has the job that the student would like to have someday, or it could be a partner with an entirely different organization than the one that the student works for. Perhaps an organization they'd like to work for one day, but haven't had a chance to get their foot in the door. It could be a virtual partnership, for example, one student was very interested in youth recreational programs and through the literature had identified a leading scholar in this field. They emailed them to see if they'd be willing to be their mentor partner for the semester, and they said yes. So the student was able to expand their network, develop a relationship, work with course concepts, and learn from one of the leaders in the field, all without leaving their home, which was pretty neat. Setting up a mentor or partner relationship is a required assignment given in the first week of class and the rest of the course won't open up for the student unless they have completed this assignment, which just consists of them showing proof that this person has agreed to be their mentor or partner. Generally, they just submit a confirmation email or screenshot of a text message or an email from their partner stating that they are willing to meet with them each week. The meetings can be face-to-face, -face, over the phone, over Zoom, or whatever. It's up to the pair how they want to do it. I think it usually takes maybe 30 minutes a week to meet. Then, built into their weekly class assignments are some questions that require them to report what they talked about with their mentor, or what they learned, or what whether they are seeing an issue from a different perspective than the mentor was seeing it, whatever the case may be. So they have a chance to report and reflect on those conversations on a weekly basis. Students have reported really loving this opportunity to network and to bring course content to life, whether it be in regards to their own organization or someone else's. They report that both parties, the student and the mentor, are better for it. Often the organization will adopt some of the concepts or principles that we cover in the course. And for me, it is really fun watching students take course concepts or academic concepts and connect them to real world examples that are of interest to them and are relevant to them. It helps to personalize the course a little bit in that way as well. And the students get the added benefit of expanding their professional network.